Hello everyone, welcome back to this another video. For today's video, we will be discussing about simple interest. So what do we mean first by the word interest? In business, uh, it is a charge for the privilege of borrowing money. So ito yung dinadagdag natin uh, na amount kapag meron nang utang sa atin. So ito yung magiging tubo kung tawagin. So pwede rin ito rin yung idadagdag mo doon sa perang inutang mo doon sa taong nagpautang sa'yo. So how are we going to compute for the interest? There is a formula to get that. So interest, ito yung I denoted as letter I, capital letter I. That is equal to the product of P, R, and T. When we say P, it is the principal amount or ito yung amount that is being borrowed. Then yung R is the rate. Okay? Then the, the time is, or the T represents the time. Okay? It could either be the year, the month, or the days. So we have here um, another formula to get that. We have the P equals I equal uh, I over RT. R is equal to I over PT. T or the time that is equal to I over PR. So kung mapapansin nyo, marami tayong formula kasi depende sa hinahanap nating value. Depende sa problem. So for you to be able to understand it more, let's have the following examples. Let us have this. Tabi mo natin formula dyan. Uh, number one, John wants to have an interest income of $3,000 a year. How much must he invest for one year at 8% and how much would be the maturity value? So there are two values that we need to find in this problem. Pero kailangan natin mahanap muna yung mga given. Okay, let's write down the given. So in number one, uh, kung iitindi natin yung problem, John wants to have an interest. Gusto niya daw magkaroon ng interest. So, meron na tayong value na, na, ng I. So, I would be equal to $3,000 a year. How much must he invest for one year? So, meron tayong one year binigay dito. So, that is already the time. So, that is equal to one. One year. Take note that your given time must also be expressed using the unit of year. So dito naka-year naman na, so 1 year na lang yan. Then 8%, automatically yan yung magiging rate nyo. So that is the rate, that is 8%. Then this 8% must be converted into decimal. So pag meron kayo nakita ang percent dyan, you just have to divide 8 by 100. So 8 divided by 100, that is equal to 0.08. Okay, so you divide by 8 divided by 100. So you already have the I, the T, and the R. Then we need to find, um, ito, how much must he invest? So pag sinama natin yung ano, um, investment, kung magkano yung invest mo, ilalagay mo sa banko, for example, yun yung value of P. So yun nawawala, the principal amount. Okay, pag sinama natin principal amount, yun yung hiniram mo, yung ininvest mo, yung ipinautang mo, basta the amount of money, that is being borrowed. Okay? Or the amount of money that you borrowed. So, P, yan yung missing. Then, meron pa isang hinahanap. Nakalagay dito, how much would be the maturity value. So, lagay natin muna M, B. So, hindi ko pa nababanggit yung maturity value kanina. Wala, wala pa tayong nalagay na formula dyan. So, the maturity value is the final amount. It is the sum of your principal amount and the interest. So, pag sinabi natin maturity value, di ba umutang ka halimbawa ng certain amount of money, then, tutubo yun. Pag samay mo yung dalawang yun, yung inutang, tsaka yung, yung tubo, that is equal to the maturity value. So, there is a formula for the maturity value, MV is equal to P plus I. So, principal amount plus the interest. So, let's solve for this. 
Ang hinahan natin ay P. So, what formula are we going to use? This would be the first formula to use. That is equal to, or P is equal to I over R T. So, lagyan lang dito formula. So, P is equal to I over R T. So, P copy lang. Let's change the value of I. That is equal to 3,000. All over. Yung R natin ay 0 0.08. So, 0 0.08. Let's just put parenthesis for the multiplication symbol. Then, the time is 1 year. So, times 1 lang tayo. So, ano magiging sa dyan? Lagay lang natin sa calculator natin. So, P. O, lagay natin 3,000. So, ganito lang gagawin natin. 3,000. Sorry. 3,000 divided by, lagay tayo ng parenthesis sa ilalim, 0 0.08 times 1. Then, close parenthesis. So, equal sign natin, the answer is 37,500. So, the amount borrowed or the principal amount is 37,000. 500. So we already have the P, the principal amount. We will now we will now get the value of the maturity value. How are, how are we going to get that? Using the formula P plus I. So we don't need to get the I anymore because it's given already. So P is thirty-seven thousand five hundred. You just have to add the I or the three thousand. So, 37,500 plus 3,000, that is equal to 40,500. So, the maturity value is 40,500. Okay? So, that is the final answer for number 1. So, this is dollars. Ha? So, let's na lang natin unit natin. Dollars. So these are the two answer, answers that we are looking for. So next, let's have another example. Number two, let's answer this. Number two, find the amount of interest and earned. Or find the amount of interest earned. And the Latin word na earned. Earned by $8,000 invested at 8% annual simple interest. When we say annual, yearly. Kada taon. Okay, simple interest rate for 3 years and 3 months. So dito, let's write down first the given. So find the amount of interest earned. Ang hinahanap yung interest. So automatically yung I natin ay wala. Next, earned by $8,000 invested. So, yung in-invest na money, so yung $8,000 will be the value of P. So, $8,000 to. Invested at 5%. So, yung R natin, the rate is 5%. Convert it into decimal. I-divide nyo lang ito lagi sa 100. So, 5 divided by 100, that is equal to 0 0.05. Next is the time, the given time here is 3 years and 3 months. Okay, so kapag meron kayong 3 years and 3 months, you have to convert all the units into years. So in 3 years natin, okay na yan, pero itong 3 months, we need to convert that into the unit of year. So in 3 months, i-divide mo lang lagi yan sa 12. So whatever given months, here in the given, you always have to divide it by 12. Kasi there is 12 months in one year. So in 3 months, you divide mo lang sa 12, that is already uh, in a unit of year. Then whatever the answer that you got in here, you will be adding that here in 3 years. So 3 months sa ito, divided by na, divide sa 12, that is equal to 0 0.25. But, but it is just the Three months. So, we need to add three years yung unang given. So, plus three lang natin. Sorry. 
3 plus yung answer natin. That is equal to 3.25. So, yung time natin na gagamitin is 3.25. Instead of 3, point, uh, 3 years and 3 months, ang nilalagay natin, 3.25 uh, years. Yan yung value of time. So, let's get now the value of interest. So, the formula to get the interest is just the, the product of P, R, and T. So, i-multiply lang natin. Si P, ito yung formula ang gagamitin na P, R, T. So, 8,000 parenthesis. Then, the R is 0 0.05. Then, the time is 3.25. So, I is equal to Let's get the product of the three. 8,000 times 0 0.05 times 3.25. That is equal to 1,300. So I is equal to $1,300. So that is the formula of... Uh, uh, that is the answer for number two, the interest. So, if we are going to get the maturity value in number 2, again, we just have to add the principal amount and the interest. We have here 8000 as the principal amount and we also have the $1,300 as the interest. You just have to add them. 8000 plus $1,300 is equal to $9,300. Although it's not being asked on the given or in number two, we just uh, get the maturity value. Okay? So, to understand it more, let's have more examples. Number three, let's have this. To start a mobile dog grooming service, a woman borrowed $2,500. If the loan was for two years, and the amount of interest was $175. What simple interest rate was she charged? So dito, lagi natin mga given, $2,500 is the amount that is being borrowed by a woman. So siya yung magiging P. P is equal to, or the principal amount is $2,500. If the loan was for 2 years, 2 years automatically, that's the time. There is no given month, so no need to convert anything. Next is the amount of interest. So the, the interest was 175 so I is equal to $175. Then the question is, or the value that we are looking for, is the simple interest rate. So rate ang nawawala. How much would be the interest rate? Okay, so the formula to be used is the formula for the rate, which is I over PT. So R is equal to I over P T. Let's change the values. So the rate is equal to yung I natin is 175, that would be our numerator. Then P times time, 2,500, parenthesis, then the time would be 2. Then let's just input them into our calculator. So we have 175 divided by, yung ilalim natin lagi tayo ng parenthesis, 2,500 times 2. Then close parenthesis, equal sign, that is equal to, 0.035 the, But take note If we are looking for our rate Whatever value that we got from our calculator It must be multiplied always 2 or by 100 So, kasi rate yan eh So, percentage times 100 lang natin Yung sagot, 3.5% So, meron tayong Rate of 3.5% that is the answer for 3. Okay? So, kung kukunin, kung kukunin nyo ulit yung maturity value natin, 
Diba? Hindi natin magamit to kasi meron naman tayong 2,500 tsaka itong interest ng 175. Makakuha mo na. Pero kasi yan ay 2 years. So, yung 175 na yan. O yan, for 2 years na yan. So, i-add mo na. 2,500 plus 175. You'll get the value of the maturity value. But it's not being asked on the, on the problem. So, you don't need to find it anymore. Next, let's have the last example that I have in here for the simple interest again. A student borrowed a student borrowed some money from his father at 2% simple interest to buy a car. So, meron tayong 2% as the, as the rate. He paid his father $360 in interest after 3 years. How much did he borrow? So what are the given again? The first value that is being given here is 2% and we all know that it's the rate. Rate is 2%. We need to divide it by 100 to convert that into decimal. So 2 divided by 100 that is equal to 0 0.02. Or you just have to simply move the decimal point from here twice. So magiging 0 0.02. Then the next given is 360 and what is that 360? It is the interest. So I is equal to $360. Then 3 years, it's the time. It's already in the year so no need to convert. Next, the question is how much did he borrow? So magkano tayo hiniram niya? So that is the principal. So P is equal to I over R T. So principal ulit ang hinahanap natin. So gamitin yung formula na to. So P is equal to the interest here is 360 divided by R natin ay 0 0.02 then the time is 3 years. So times 3. So let's put that on our calculator. 360 divided by parenthesis again, 0 0.02 times 3. Always put parenthesis for the denominator if you're if you're using this kind of calculator. So equal sign. That is equal to 6000. So the student borrowed 6000 dollars. So that is the principal amount. So if you are going to get the maturity value, I think total yung babayaran. If he borrowed 6,000, he will not return 6,000 only because he has to pay for the interest. So all in all, he will be paying his father an amount of 6,000 plus the interest, 360. So that is equal to 6,360 dollars. So that is the maturity value. Add the two values. So that's how you compute for the simple interest for the principal, for the rate, and for the time. Okay? So I hope that you learned something from this video. Don't forget to subscribe to keep you more updated on my next video.